What's up noodlers? Today we're going to come and bring you a quick terminology video from the video game world. We're here in this beautiful park, socially distancing responsibly, and today we're going to talk about grinding. No, not that type of grinding. Naughty. Grinding, also known as farming or treadmilling, although no one calls it treadmilling, so don't, is the act of doing repetitive tasks in-game in order to receive in-game awards and achievements and experience points. In today's gaming landscape, grinding is a well-known and well-established mechanic, with almost every game incorporating some form of grinding. However, its origins go way back to some of the very first video games ever made. In 1975, at the Southern Illinois University, two students created DND, a video game based on the classic Dungeons & Dragons. This game featured non-linear progression, which allowed players to go around the map, rinse and repeating areas, searching for extra experience points and loot. This approach was soon followed by major RPG releases, including the first Final Fantasy. The phrase itself is thought to have originated in the 1990s, with the gaming communities of Secrets of Mana and Fantasy Star VI being the first credited to use the term. The mechanic then became widespread in the world of MMOs, and that's where it really got its influence. In games like World of Warcraft, rinse and repeating quests, side quests, and other activities for loot became basically the point of the game at later parts. Since then, grinding has been adopted into almost every facet of gaming, from shooters to sports games to everything in between. This mass incorporation of grinding has been received with mixed reviews from the gaming community. Some see grinding as bad game design, lacking in creativity, and simply using a way of getting players to rinse and repeat the same activities over and over again to lazily bloat the game's runtime for nothing more than increasing numbers. People say that grinding is a mechanic used to keep players invested in the game for financial purposes. For example, World of Warcraft got a lot of slack for using grinding as a way to simply keep players subscribed to the game and keep that sweet, sweet money rolling in for Blizzard every single month. As time has gone on and gaming has evolved, the financial aspects of grinding have become even clearer and even more of a hot topic in the community. Detractors will say that keeping players grinding away time after time doing the same activities is simply a way of keeping them invested in the in-game economies. Players that get hooked on these in-game economies have more incentive to pay real money to buy in-game rewards, loot boxes, all that kind of stuff. The conversation happening now is whether or not games are becoming increasingly grindier in order to incentivize players to pay their hard-earned real-world money in order to skip the grind and making companies a healthy profit at the same time. However, grinding does have many defenders. It's seen as somewhat of a level playing field, allowing players that are willing to put in the time and effort to get good at the game to join the players at the top and it rewards them for putting in the hours. Whatever people think of the mechanic, it clearly has its place in gaming. It's seen as the reason why so many players have spent hundreds or even thousands of hours in a game long after it's become irrelevant or passed into memory. That's it for today's episode of Gaming Terminology. I'm your teacher, Phil. Don't forget to like and subscribe at NoodleShot. Don't forget to press the bell to receive notifications for our other videos. And we'll see you next time. What's up, noodlers? Okay, give me a second. What's up, noodlers? Uh, f what's the line? What was I saying? Uh, grinding. <laughs> Grind, something about grinding, yeah. We really should get an auto cue because this is oh, no. laborious.